It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a highly capable marine animal. In all realms of the ocean, fish and marine mammals require highly specialized skills or superpowers in order to find food and survive. There is an entire league of extraordinary marine animals, each with its own fascinating ability. Let's take a closer look at a few of these super swimmers. Tuna and sailfish, some of the world's fastest fish, feature fusiform or streamlined bodies that cut through water. Sailfish, which can reach 110 kilometers per hour, which is even faster than a cheetah, can also take down their sails, which further adds to the sprinting speed of the fish. When upright, the sails are useful for herding groups of prey or making threatened sailfish appear larger. Marine creatures are not limited to just swimming. Some can even fly. The humbled squid, along with its powers of color changing and ink squirting, uses jet propulsion to leap many meters. These squid suck in water and eject it from their siphons, which are found under their heads. Next, we have flying fish, which can have either two or four wing-like fins that they spread to fly to primarily escape predators. When the fish fly, their tails move up to 70 times per second, and they can go up to 70 kilometers per hour for up to 45 seconds. Yet another fast swimmer, spinner dolphins are known as the acrobats of the sea. But why do they spin? So a lot of it has to do, as I understand it, with their, they gain a lot of speed underwater, and then the torque when they push themselves out of the water is what causes them to spin. And there are a lot of theories on why they spin. One of the typical theories in science would be to rid themselves of parasites. But then there's also some theories that say that they're doing it as communication with each other, or they might be doing it to help them produce air bubbles to find each other or to find feeding areas, or maybe they're just doing it to have fun. Humans often adopt many of these animals' techniques to augment the speed of boats and planes. These superheroes of the sea keep their ecosystems exciting and flourishing, but they too have their kryptonite. There may soon be few of such animals left if we continue our behavior of overfishing and environmental damage. One immediate and simple way people can help preserve sea life is through Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch, which lists the types of seafood that are sustainable to prevent exploiting threatened species. By choosing local and sustainable, you're helping the fish populations. When shopping, buy sustainable seafood and ask your restaurant servers where they source their seafood. Together, we can use our powers to save the oceans. Superheroes of the world, unite! <laughs>